It's a bird. It's a plane. But it's not your daddy. It's Superman. That's right, it's not Christopher Reeve, and it's not going to be Henry Cavill. The DCU, headed by James Gunn, is officially cast. It's Superman. And I have some thoughts on this, but let's take a look at the news and see exactly who we're getting. Because I don't know who this is. They cast some guy as Superman, David Sweat. And Rachel Brosnahan, cast as Clark Kent and Lois Lane. Now, I'm not opposed to the casting. I actually think they look pretty good together. I mean, I've never seen them together, but I, the, the look makes sense to me. I, I get what they're going for. He looks very similar to Henry Cavill. <laughs> he looks very similar to Henry Cavill. Now, this looks like a young guy picture of him. I think he looks a little bit older, but following months of tapes, audition tapes, and in-person screen tests, they've cast their Superman and Lois to star in James Gunn's Superman Legacy. Uh, apparently, they were sitting in front of uh, Peter Safran and Gunn in full costume and makeup for the parts. <laughs> Apparently, one of the, the the they saw three actors in full Superman attire. That'll be very curious as to who else went into this. But uh, apparently, this guy is coming off of some success. He was in the uh, Netflix's The Politician, which I never saw. He was also in Pearl, the horror movie, which I also never saw. Um, we'll see if they're going to attend Comic Cons or anything like that. Uh, they've been casting for a really long time. Apparently, there's going to be a Lex Luthor in this. The casting is down to Bill Skarsgård and Peter Skarsgård, the Skarsgård brothers. There's going to be a Skarsgård, apparently, being Lex Luthor. We'll see how that looks, too. He's a much younger-looking Superman, and I know that they want to build, build upon this. Um, some of the other movies that are going to be coming out, Batman, the Brave and the Bold, and then Andy Muschietti, who just directed, you know, probably the biggest bomb in Warner Brothers history, or at least one of them, The Flash, to direct The Authority. Okay, interesting choices there. I did a review of The Flash, so you can watch that if you so choose. But let's, let's take a look at some more information here, and... For those of you not familiar with Rachel Brosnahan, she is from the fabulous Mrs. Ma Maisel, Mrs. Maisel, Mrs. Maisel, where she's an up-and-coming comedian in the 60s, and she was also in House of Cards as random prostitute number five. <laughs> uh, but no, she's actually really good. I thoroughly enjoyed her in M Miss uh, Maisel. I watched probably the first three seasons and then stopped watching because I got bored. But it was good while it lasted. So I, I thought that was pretty good. And again, I don't know anything about this guy. They just announced it, so it is official. James Gunn confirmed it and is like, not only are they both incredible actors, but they're wonderful people. And apparently, what well, Nicholas Hout was one of the uh, additional people who was up for the role, but I think they wanted someone who's pr more unknown. So, you know, I didn't Nicholas Howe already play Beast in the X Men series. Like, you know, they wanted a clean slate, and I don't know that Brosnahan has done anything super famous. The plot summary for this is: Superman Legacy tells the story of Superman, Corna Sweat. Journey to reconcile his Kryptonian heritage with his human upbringing as Clark Kent of Smallville, Kansas. He is the embodiment of truth, justice, and the American way, guided by human kindness in a world that sees kindness as old-fashioned. Sounds pretty on the nose. What I find interesting about this is Superman at one point, and I'm going to highlight this if I can, Truth, justice, and the American way. That was not something that people were saying, as most recently DC was saying it 
uh, truth, justice, and the future. <laughs> I think that's what it says. I, 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 I'd have to double check that one, but I'm pretty sure it was like truth, justice, and a better tomorrow. That's what it was. A better tomorrow. And people were a little angry about that because you know, Superman's one of the oldest superheroes. has been in print for a long, long time. Everybody in the world knows who Superman is. And it's always been the embodiment of truth, justice, and the American way. And they have recently gone back to that. So it's a little interesting that James Gunn is also sticking with that. Let's get some sexy pictures of our two new leads and get an idea of who we're getting. Now, what I think is fascinating about this guy, I don't know for a fact. I should probably look this up. Is this dude British? Because I'll tell you one thing. He sure as heck looks an awful lot. <laughs> like Henry Cavill, like a younger Henry Cavill. Oh, he's an American actor. Look at him. They were like, how can we find someone? Oh, he was also a guest star in House of Cards. Interesting. They both have guest of cards appearances on the, under their belts. But he's got you know, some steely blue eyes. I have seen pictures of him with his physique. He looks, he's no Henry Cavill. Maybe he'll put in the work and the uh, Mexican supplements to look like Henry Cavill, but it's got a little ways to go. And I know Christopher Reeve wasn't huge, um, but in the suit he looks bigger. Yeah, he looks big for a guy of that time period. You know, maybe not Arnold Schwarzenegger, but you know. And I guess people were saying that he was getting a little long in the tooth. Henry Cavill, that is the forty-year-old actor. Here's my issue with the whole thing, because David Corner, he's 29 and Rachel Brosnahan is 32. So you've got like maybe 10 years with these actors. So exactly how many movies are you planning to put out with these guys? And The Marvelous Miss May Mrs. Maisel, as is on its it's five year uh, five season run, it's it's over now. So she was looking to move on to something else. Let me see. There was a sexy picture of her too. Look at that. Oh my god. Uh my loud they're gonna have to button down those sweater puppies <laughs> she's got, my loud yeah she's a little she's a maybe she's a little too too attractive to be a reporter i don't know what are they gonna do with her it'll be interesting to see they're, they're definitely not gonna let her wear that as lois lane from maybe no she, she's not from smallville is she that would be lana lang was from smallville wasn't she so anyway, um, I think this could be a good pairing. I think they're a very handsome couple. The two of them hopefully have some good on-screen chemistry. And the thing I don't like, and here, here's the point I was trying to make, and we'll look at uh, Miss Brosnahan here, is that what we have here is a younger Superman learning his role in the world and I think we've already heard that story. As much as I'd like to see another Lex Luthor, right? Because we've already had, I don't know, 10 of them. I don't think I've ever seen Brainiac. And I don't think I've ever seen Metallo. And I don't, like, there are plenty of Superman villains that we haven't seen. Like, we don't need to rehash all the old stuff. I would really like to see something more interesting. We've barely even seen Darkseid let alone any of the other cosmic villains, I would really like an opportunity to see somebody done well and newer. You know, like why, why do we have to do the old stuff? Like the origin type story. Are they going to show him falling from the sky again? Kind of like Batman with the pearls and his parents getting shot. Like how many times do we have to see that happen? How many times do we have to see Bat, uh, Superman and the Kents and Mom, Pa, Kent and things like that? I think we've seen enough of that. I don't know why we're going back to it. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think this is good casting? Are you excited? I'm going to give them, from my perspective on the casting, without ever hearing the guy speak, he's got the look. I've seen her act. I like her very much. She can definitely be a plucky reporter. I think she's a good actress. I'm going to give them an 8 out of 10. Nah, let's give them 10 out of 10 for the casting. It's still not my Superman. I want Henry Cavill, but clearly I'm not getting that. I'm going to get this guy. I'll take him, though. 
Let's see what happens. I'll, uh, yeah, James Gunn, he hasn't done, you know, I don't agree with him on everything. And he hasn't necessarily done me wrong. I liked Guardians of the Galaxy 3. So, and I like Suicide Squad. I like what he puts out. So let's see this. See if he's got some heart. He was definitely wrong about The Flash. He said The Flash was a very good movie. It was not a very good movie. But let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm definitely interested to hear. We read all your comments, so we'll, I'll engage you for sure. Very curious if you think this is good, bad, indifferent. Are you hesitant? Are you full of superhero fatigue? But are you looking forward to a good Superman story? I don't know. I'm on the fence, but I like the casting. I think it's good since we have no control over Henry Cat. We can't do anything about it at this point. We're done. So let me know what you think in the comments below and um, catch our full-length audio podcast. We would really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed or listened to that as well because we live stream it here on YouTube, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's also on Stitcher, iTunes, Spotify, all those great places for free. You can listen to us anywhere that you want. But as for myself, I'm on to the next one.